snow tips the peaks and blankets the slopes, there ski land awaits for those who love the king of winter sports. Giant road plows open up deeply buried highways for the thousands who are on their way to mountain playgrounds set in frosted sunshine and a cloudless sky. The roads are finally cleared and the ski fields are ahead. Powerful steam plows, too, throw aside the snow, as in Niagara's of sparkling whiteness it piles high on either side of the glistening rails, and the right-of-way is opened up. The journey to the ski field starts, all aboard for adventure and thrill. The special train follows the snow plow into a fairyland of glistening white. En route, the skiers are kept busy adjusting and waxing their hickory staves or watching the passing panorama of winter's beauty in all its ever-to-be-remembered grandeur. They arrive and make final preparations. Good news, there's powder snow and plenty of it on all the slopes. So wax well your wooden wings for speed. Winter has formed the drifts, and today the running will be fine. There's no turning back now. Even the faint-hearted must see it through. This isn't a game for timid souls or lovers of chess. They stand behind and watch from the valleys below as the trek to the summit gets underway in the skiing paradise. There's adventure ahead and lots of it for amateurs and professionals as well. Happy groups start for the carefully selected best location. The ski lift, like a belt conveyor, catches them and carries them to the summit beyond. No energy used up in the ascent, for they'll need all of it for control and coming down. The cable runs and up they go. They're off and there is plenty of action. Gravity is the power that speeds them along. The first cross-country downhill run begins. A quick start for a rapid descent. It's okay so long as one keeps going. But a lot of things can happen to interrupt the trip, and when they do, they happen quickly. The idea is to keep the running surface of the skis traveling on the surface of the snow. But it's not so easy, and even the best of them take their share of spills. But that's fun, too. First, the beginners take the gradual slope. Soon they become expert, and then they dare the steeper run. It takes a lot of courage, even for those who know. And down they come, sliding, jumping, gliding, off the cliffs and on the skiller slopes. Perfect timing, remarkable control, the speed of wind. those restless ones who want different kinds of thrills on skis. To be driving through the town behind the sharp shot steed is just another way to challenge fate. On the straightaways and over the jumps without a fall is an agile trick if you can do it, but don't try too soon. The horses race along as the ski jorahs hitch on behind. The cold air is so dry and the sun so warm that a bathing suit makes a good skiing costume. To make it faster and more difficult, some use autos for greater speed, and the boyhood fun of hitch behind becomes a hazardous sport. Then there are those inventive fellows who think up new ways of challenging the steepest run. Fantastic wings and special riggings are built and tried out. The crowd of regulars holds its breath as these pioneers take off and prove their theory or plow face first into the laughing snow. They have their troubles, too. Here's the season's newest idea, bat wings for balance and speed in the wind. At least that's what they're supposed to do, but it doesn't always work out that way. Good luck, goodbye, we'll see you later. say he fell for a new idea? Well, anyway, he fell. Skis also have their practical uses. 
They were born of the need of man to travel over otherwise impassable winter country. In the deep snows of the mountains of Europe, soldiers are trained to quickly move from place to place. Regiments of ski troops guard the passes of the Alps. From them, there's much to learn. They know every trick of the snow and ski. These frontier guardians must be expert, and they are. Swiftly, silently, they glide on the march, traveling fast to wherever duty calls. But they are matched in skill by the expert amateurs and professional in both Europe, Canada, and America. There is no slope too steep for these snow mercuries, no crevasse or sparkling mountainside that they cannot cover with their wooden wings. They shun the ski lift and start for the dizzy height. It's climb, climb, climb. Then with grace, balance, and poise, the descent begins. A dangerous downhill run. Human avalanches, they drop through the valley below. Like giant snowbirds at breakneck speed, they fly defying wind and snow and all the quick, uncertain hazards of the run. The cameraman takes chances, too, as the skiers come straight at him, over 60 miles an hour. camera catches the rhythm of a trick jump. Nothing can delay the fast descent. The ultimate in this streamlined sport is ski jumping. Only experts can dare this wingless flight. It's a combination of skill and luck. Keeping the weight well forward and the feet together, they shoot out into space like giant birds. They have to strike the ground just right, and even then their faces are often where their feet should be. Watch them come in these breathtaking events. It's even a trying experience for the spectators whose hearts leap as the skiers do. It's a game for men, men of stamina, skill, and nerve. Some stay on their feet, but many fall in this thrilling, dangerous sport. Men have conquered space and snow with skis, and the sport today is more popular than ever. New heroes fill the breach, and the flights go on, training the man birds for tomorrow.